Hi guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We got something, something, something. We got something different. And we are going to be comparing Five Below versus Michaels versus Wish Slime. <laughs> I don't think anyone's compared the three slimes yet, so we are going to be comparing all three slimes in today's video. If you guys want more slime comparison videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, and let's try to get this video to 1,500 thumbs up. And for today's post notification shout out, there are five of you guys, and the first one goes out to Alice Harris, Madison Sheffield, Brianna Vasquez, Caitlin Maria, and Ashley Cohen. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on, and if you guys want to get shout out, in my next video make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down down below when you have done that i think that's about it for this intro so let's just get right into the first slime review Woo! starting off with slime from michael's i found this three pack of crayola slime like who would have thought crayola had slime these are the cutest little crayon containers and i picked up a blue pink and purple colored set the set was ten dollars at michael's but it was half off so i got all three for five dollars these containers were nicely sealed and starting off with the blue slime this was a blue clear slime that had a pretty gold glitter in it this slime did have a little bit of stretch to it but the more i kept playing with it the harder and stiffer it got and it would just rip if i stretched it too hard The purple color was so pretty too. It's like a lilac clear purple color with a gold glitter in it as well. This had the same putty like texture as the first slime though as expected and it also had a putty chemical scent to it. Same with the first one. So I'm not really sure why they labeled it as slime because to me it definitely felt more like a putty texture. And the pink colored crayon was the prettiest of them all. Like I totally was not expecting this, but the color shifted from a neon pink clear color to a purple color, which was so neat. I'm not sure if this was intentional, but it really looks so cool. This one had the same texture as well. It started off kind of stretchy and then it just got stiffer and stiffer the more I played with it. But I really like the color shift. It made the slime look so unique. Okay, so for this next set of slime, I know it says glitter putty, but it was with all the slime stuff at Michael's, so I just added it to my cart. This is a three colored putty with a yellow, orange, and pink putty. The texture of this one felt just like the Crayola crayon slimes. So therefore, that proves my previous statement that while they were labeled slimes, they were definitely putties, but anyways, the colors of these three putties look so pretty when I mix them together. It kind of just reminded me of a pretty sunset. Even though the texture wasn't that stretchy, I still thought that this was a really pretty putty. Moving on to the wish slimes. This first slime looks like a disaster and well, it kind of is because it broke in transit and a lot of it leaked out of the container. So I was just trying to save as much of it as I could. I was super bummed that this one leaked out because it looks so good in the listing. This is a Java chip slime with foam beads in it. And even though the container cracked, the slime itself was still in decent condition. It didn't really have that good of a stretch, but I love the texture of this one from the Java chips and the foam beads. But the foam beads were falling out all over the place, so that definitely wasn't good. But other than that, this definitely wasn't the worst wish slime I've gotten. It wasn't the best, but it was like in the middle. Next up, we have this pink and blue clear slime. This 
completely melted and it was in regular glue form when I got it, which has never happened to me from a wish order. Usually they come super overactivated, so this was a surprise to me. So this one was a messy one because I had to pour out the glue basically and reactivate it. The listing for this slime is kind of misleading too. I guess it kind of looks like the pictures, but it just looks way better in the listing than what I received. I tried not to overactivate the slime, but I feel like I may have a little bit because it turned out kind of stiff. I just wasn't really a fan of this one. Moving on to the next wish slime. This one came with a really nice screw on container. So I took my first poke into the slime and I was kind of shook y'all. This slime had some pastel foam beads in it and also had some like marshmallow foam pieces and star glitters. The slime kind of looks like the listing, but their marshmallow foam pieces look way bigger and their beads aren't pastel colored, but I love the pastel look. So I definitely like the slime better than the listing. This one felt a little stiff at first, but I saw potential in this one. So I added in a little bit of lotion and just mix that all in and it turned out so good. It was so much stretchier and it had like a milky creamy texture to it. I was able to poke it and play with it, which was so nice. I love this one. This might be one of my favorite slimes I've ever purchased from Wish. Next up, we have a cloud slime from Wish. I would say that this one is pretty accurate with the listing. The slime looks so aesthetic. I love the big moon charm it came with and the pretty star and silver glitters that top this slime. I also love the pink, yellow, and blue color combination. It doesn't turn into the prettiest color when it's all mixed together, but I really like this color combo. And for the texture of this cloud slime, they're so hit or miss from Wish. And this one was a miss, unfortunately. There was so much residue left on my hands from this one and it ripped apart really easily and didn't fluff up like some other cloud slimes I've purchased from Wish. I love the appearance of this one, but the texture, not so much. Moving on to the last Wish Slime, I definitely did not remember purchasing a slime this color. So I looked at my previous orders and found a pink, blue, and gold metallic colored slime that I'm pretty sure this one is because I saw a little bit of the gold pigment at the bottom. So this one mixed all together, which was a little bit disappointing. This kind of felt like a jiggly putty. It was pretty stiff and ripped apart when I tried stretching it the slightest bit. I really like the metallic pigment in this slime, but the texture just wasn't really that good. And lastly, we have some slimes from Five Below. This one is from the Concoction Factory, and I love the packaging of this slime. This was $2.50 at Five Below, and y'all, oh my god, this is my favorite store-bought slime ever. And it was only $2.50, like I am mind blown. This felt like a perfect butter slime, and it's like a slime that you would get from a famous slime shop, but it's only $2.50. The texture of this one is so smooth and creamy and it's also scented. It had a candy like scent to it. Like how can you beat a slime for $2.50? I was so impressed with this and they also had it in white and pink as well. This is definitely getting an A++ in my book. And the last two slimes we have here are fluffy putties from Orb Slimy, who I've purchased from before and they have pretty decent slimes even though this is advertised as a putty. These were $2 each at five below and um, I can kind of see why they were so cheap because this was stiff as a rock. It says on the packaging that it never dries out and it stretches forever, but this was the exact opposite of that. It felt so dry and it was an arm workout to stretch this thing out, okay people? I definitely do not recommend this one.
And the last one we are reviewing from Five Below is a translucent shimmer from Orb Slimy. And this one actually came sealed in plastic wrap, which the first one didn't. So I was kind of hoping that was why it felt so dried out. But nope, this one felt pretty dry too. This one was super hard to stretch as well, and when I stretched it out, it kind of just got hard and stiff and ripped apart. I can't even describe this texture to you guys because it kind of feels like stretchy at first, but then it just gets hard. I was just definitely not a fan of this one either. And that's all that I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Who was the winner? Was it Wish? Was it Five Below? Or was it Michaels? Who had the better slime? Comment down below. And as always, if you guys are not following me on my social media links, I have them all on the screen right now. Make sure you guys check me out on my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'm going to be having a ton of giveaways on my channel this year because you guys have been so supportive for my channel and I just want to give it back to you guys because I love giving back to you guys. So make sure you guys follow me on my social and stay tuned for the giveaways. I'm also going to be having another Slime Shop restock coming very soon. I just bought brand new scents and I cannot wait to make some brand new slimes for you guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well. Thank you so much for being a member of the K-Squad and checking out today's video. I try to post once every four to five days, so two videos a week kind of. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.